What's up guys, Maxim here, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing fantastic, and yeah, this is like the third video about this game. I've been enjoying it so much that I haven't even opened <laughs> 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross uh, today, but uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's, it's really really good, but in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually use mouse and keyboard at the same time Especially that it can be a bit complicated for some people that don't know uh, Because right now when I first start playing the game, I can't use my keyboard at all uh, I just like use the mouse without steering at all and it's, it's really really annoying to be honest uh, Especially like you have to like to steer with the mouse and then click it at the same time And uh, that's really really frustrating. So I'm going to be showing you my settings how I actually set it up and uh, hopefully you guys can set it up as well but before jumping into it if you guys are not subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button we're trying to reach 1k subscribers as soon as possible and it would be really really appreciated and uh, a like on this video um, makes it go go up in the algorithm uh, please just hit it it's very very easy and um, it's actually free okay with that being said let's jump right into it if you go to blue stacks right here if you click game control uh, you can actually see uh, set up like controls manually is is that the thing so the first thing that we're going to be doing is actually removing everything and set it up one by one uh, just for you guys and in order to like uh, just like understand it and maybe like you guys can actually follow uh, follow me uh, I guess so uh, let's just click save and uh, just start doing it okay for the repeated tabs I actually just click once here and I just like drag it for example and uh, let's just say I want to have like this dash thingy I just click what kind of button that I want to use for example like I use Q for this one because it's actually very close to uh, when I'm moving so I press Q and that's it that's pretty much it and you want to do it for the rest of them uh, but for example uh, the ones that requires charge you want to like to click tab spot and um, I, I want it on X because that's what I want it to be because it's very very close to when I'm moving and I want to click it as as fast as possible and you want to like click save afterwards uh, for this one you just like repeated tab the same thing as we did for the queue and I want it on E because it's actually really uh, really close and very um, very convenient I guess uh, for the ultimate I'm going to be having R uh, because it's very convenient as well and it's very very close for this guy for example I want it to be for the special I have it on one the one <laughs> uh, the button that is actually upper than the uh, the W and the D if you have a, like an American uh, keyboard or uh, and uh, for the the movements I just click the D pad and it will automatically be placed here so you just like want to place it in the middle and um, yeah that's pretty much it for the um, <clears throat> for example like uh, the dash I have it on space because that's I feel like that's international for example like for the um, for the hit button I have it on the mouse like the right click because um, you cannot use the um, uh, the left one for for some reason I don't know why but if you guys like set it up on the uh, on the right one let me know uh, for this one like I feel like this one is a repeated tab as well <clears throat> for this one I'm gonna press it on two just I, I just want like everything close to me sort of so I can I don't want to like stretch my fingers in order to like to click a button I don't know if I should I should like um, have something uh, for this button though Ugh, it, it is very frustrating but I, I feel like it, it should stay with the mouse because that's like the closest thing but uh, yeah this is my configuration pretty much I just like don't forget to like to press save as well because this is like very very important to do and uh, yeah let me show you how it looks like so uh, after you figure it out I just like click the buttons and if you see here you can actually see and the charge up actually works as well and uh, I just like click the mouse like the um, the left button in order to, to attack without like going here all the time and uh, that allows me to click the button where if I get attacked and th there is a button here I can just like click it with the mouse straight away and it's, it's very very convenient and um, for example if I want to like to uh, use this skill I can just like press one which is 
with my pinky and it's very very easy and um yeah you can actually still rotate the camera as well with the um with the right uh, or should i say the left one i'm, I'm so bad with directions <laughs> yeah but uh yeah it the, the game is really really fun uh, i hope you guys find this helpful maybe it will help you guys how you can actually set it up i don't want like this video to be very very long and um that's I hope this helps some some of you, and maybe uh, maybe it helps like um, getting an idea of which button you can actually use in order to like make the game much more enjoyable. Because I know how a struggle it is to use the mouse by itself. But uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Please don't forget to leave a like as well. Like I really really appreciate it, and do help the channel to grow. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye. -bye.